the recipient for this year's honorary award for career contribution is Stan Less. For close to 40 years, Stan Lesk has made me laugh. He is able to walk on a stage and fall down, spit, do a double take, trip, bark, dance, and sometimes do absolutely nothing and make me laugh. Over the years, I've had to train myself not to corpse when I have been in a scene with Stan. He will do something instinctively in the moment in rehearsal and sometimes in performance that will dissolve me. I have gotten better, but I don't think I will ever be completely cured. It is often when something unexpected happens, someone dries or a set piece falls over, that Stan's comedic instincts kick in and I giggle at a moment of pure vaudevillian genius. Where does this come from? The comedy walks, the character laugh, the arched eyebrows, that voice, the ability to play the stakes higher than you could imagine. And no one really knows. Stavith has often said, it's all instinct. Well, I'm sure some of it is. But the five decades of experience building comic characters in countless plays and movies must be informing some of those instincts. I used to say Stan was the Winnipeg's answer to Stubby K. I was wrong. He is so much more. He is our own unique Winnipeg treasure. Like such luminaries as Fanny Bryce, Burt Williams, Stan Laurel, and Zero Mistel, he has the rare ability to have us laughing one moment and crushing a tear with the back of our hands the next. Before coming to Winnipeg, Stan had already been working in theaters across the country, but in 1982, when he first arrived, and played Marcellus in Rainbow's The Music Man, and I still laugh when Stan just says the word shaboopy, he has shared his secrets and his knowledge of acting with both students and professional actors. His work is always heartfelt, nuanced, honest, inventive, true, and very funny. He met his wife, Lorraine Lassard, during that production and married her in 1983 and then chose to make Winnipeg his home and raise his family here. In Winnipeg, he's acted on virtually every stage in the city, countless times. In the 1990s, when Rainbow Stage faced many challenges, Stan served as a board member and played an active role in keeping Rainbow Stage alive. He's the only board member of Rainbow Stage who holds a lifetime appointment. For over 25 years, Stan has worked in Manitoba Artists in the schools program. He has taught improvisation and acting skills to all age groups in communities throughout Manitoba. His contribution to arts education in the province has also included teaching musical theatre workshops and classes at Prairie Theatre Exchange, Ken Peters Dance Express, the University of Manitoba and Brandon University. Stan also directed a fourth-year student production at the University of Winnipeg and was a substitute teacher at the Royal Winnipeg Ballet for three years. Recognizing that there were many talented senior citizens in Manitoba, he started the Red River Exhibition Senior Idol Contest with his partner, Frank Adamson, more than 10 years ago, and it continues to be a popular event. Frank and Stan have produced together many projects through their company, Fogies Productions based in Manitoba. So Stan Lesk is more than Winnipeg's answer to Stubby K, much more. He has contributed to the careers of adults and children alike in this city. Congratulations, Stan, on receiving this well-deserved Career Contribution Award. <clears throat>